Hey, hey friends, Fuya here once again. Welcome back to episode 100. Yes, we've gone through 100 episodes of Fire Emblem Warriors Three Hopes Blind Playthrough and episode 19 of the Azure Gleam Playthrough. Last we left off, we had just cleared the chapter and it was such a long episode that we decided to just kind of save everything else for camp stuff for this time around. So, if you all know how the camp stuff goes, it'll take a little bit of time. If you want, there's going to be a lot of people to talk to and stuff, but if you don't want to go through all that, then by all means, probably 20-25 minutes skip ahead. We'll eventually get to some action, don't worry. The death of the head of House Roe marked their downfall. To be blunt, their territory belongs to the royal family now. If I make a name for myself in this battle, I might be granted my own land. <laughs> a guy can, can dream, can't he? So I wonder who will end up with Iron Road. Excellent question. Good day. We meet again, Fuya. Yes. Good to see you after two routes. Now that I've arrived, you have nothing more to fear. For I am the one who carries both the Alliance and its gloriously unreliable leader upon my very shoulders. My larger concern is for the Alliance territories. The people must be living sleep over my ass. Yeah, Lawrence. Uh, don't worry. I don't think too many people are. Nope, done. Cool. I must apologize. You finally have reinforcements, and yet you get me as their commander. If it bothers you, I can return to the Alliance at once. What are you talking about? You've already come this far. We're all calling you, so just do the best you can. Yes. Alright, um, I'll try. You've never been one that has a lot of, uh, of confidence. That's one. That's okay. Not gonna use Marianne anyway. Hi, Dorothea. Another battle on the horizon, and one that will decide the Emperor's fate. The yeah, Empire's fate, no less. Have you heard how the Imperial Army is in disarray? I wonder what's going on. And what has become of Edie? Yeah, yeah, it's a definite concern. If the Empire falls apart, chaos will spread through the rest of Fulton. You're probably right. Maybe I should. No, no, I'm sorry. I'm alright, I can fight. The battlefield is my stage, after all. You know, if I had to pick one character to play as, she's in all the routes, and you get her pretty early on in all the routes. I don't necessarily super care for her, I don't dislike her, I just... A lot of characters like better. Like Bernie, who's also in all three routes. Conveniently enough. I was hired as a formality, of course, but I have subordinates and family in the kingdom. But it all worked out for the best. Don't worry. Trust us at the foundation of my business. I'm not going to betray you simply because it strikes my fancy. But I would... I suppose I would understand if someone didn't believe me because of my circumstances. Don't worry, Yuri. You're good. The Empire has greatly changed since her defeat at Iron Road. Her Majesty reappointed Duke Iger and delegated a majority of political administration to him. He should have stayed banished if you ask me. Both Lord Ferdinand and the Marquis disappeared from the palace soon after. No future for the Empire. Joining the Kingdom Army was the right choice. Ooh, interesting. Defectors. Yes, Bark Bark. Hi, dog. Yo, dog. One time I was driving my wagon down the road after it rained, and wouldn't you know, it got stuck in the mud. Then I just had him passing by, and he stopped and lifted the wagon straight out of the muck, all by himself until later I found out that night was the king. He just about keeled over, let me tell you. I'm forever grateful and maybe a little frightened. A regular person shouldn't be able to do that. As a reminder, king has a lot of muscle, a lot of power. <laughs> oh, hey Fuya, nice timing. Let me introduce you to my partner here. His name's Shamir. Nice to meet you. Uh, thanks for your help at Iron Road. Shamir left the Knights of Saros two years ago and has been working as a mercenary in the Alliance. But she's going to be fighting with us from now on. I can vouch for her skills. So that's where she went. Oh, either way, I'm fine with that. Does not matter. What does matter? My friend! To Greetings, Commander. Nothing to report. With all these Alliance folks coming to lend a hand, it feels like a camp went from boring to bustling overnight. 
seeing all these people milling about reminds me of when I was at Gergmach. Aw. All he wants to do is go back home to Gergmach. Supplies are the lifeblood of any army. Everything 162k, we got a decent chunk of money now. Let's go. Right when things had finally died down in the west, they go and send my father to the Alliance. Aww. He works too much, even though he's getting out in years. What am I going to do with him? Yeah. You're working your tail off too, you know. I guess the apple doesn't fall far from the tree. Oh, well, but I'm a lot younger than him, and I'm in better shape too. Uh -huh. Since he's working so hard, there's no excuse for me not to do the same. I spent some time in Canvas and was exceedingly busy helping all the people there. Many were fleeing from the Empire with the Central Church's aid. Yeah, I don't know. That must have been rough. Since you're back, does that mean things have settled down over there? Yes, for now. I'm sure the situation will go dire once the fighting starts. Oh. The battlefield is a dreadful place and it's truly horrifying to take another person's life. And yet, at this point, the thought of doing nothing is far worse. Indeed. And probably just as damaging. Bernie! Ugh, looks like my days of peace and quiet are over. So Why do you think they're sending me to the front lines again? Is it because I'm from the Empire? Oh, this is too much pressure. Sure? Not about where you're from. People are just counting on you. And no one's forcing you to do anything. <laughs> counting on me? Well, uh, when you put it that way... Alright, I'll do it. That's the spirit, Bernie. She's a girl who can do it when it counts. He said to give her a little encouragement. The king's attendant is from Dusker, and some commoners have been knighted as well. I heard that even a former band has become a general. Well, he was. Oh, an immersion captain has too. Hi. I wonder if they'd promote someone like me one day. I got more than enough ambition. It's about skill, buddy. Loyalty. I know you. Hey, long time no see. You haven't changed a bit. How's it been going? I'm good, can't complain. Though I'd be even better if we could end this war with the next campaign. Wouldn't that be nice? At any rate, I'm glad to be working with you again. The motivation goes right out the window when you're not around. Oh. Me specifically, huh? Well, MC specifically. Hey. We probably shouldn't lean on the Alliance too much, but it's nice to have more allies. We've even got people from the Golden Deer here now, which is really reassuring. Hmm. Definitely. They're forced to be reckoned with. We count on them in battle. I agree. You're, no, pardon me. The Empire may have sheer numbers, but I think there may be hope for us yet. But as to what will happen between us after the Empire is defeated, hmm, your guess is as good as mine. And we'll have to see. Amazing, this is my first time visiting Kingdom territory. There's something fascinating around every corner here. Every climate allows for diverse and rare plant life, and each town or village has their unique charms. Truly, Poland's vastness astounds me every day. Uh, oh, my apologies. Must compose myself. We are at war, and I am a knight after all. We know, we know. Your paintbrush is at hand and ready to go. Oh, no items this time around. Possibly. So, anyway. There's this guy I know. He's one of the best mercs you'll ever see. He's gotta be raking in the coin, but every time I bump into him, he's always asking for money. Last time I saw him, he was working for the Empire. I wonder if he's still with them. If he's helping with all their pillaging, I'll bash his brains in myself. Oh, uh, we all know who you're talking about. Listen, we are seeing each other after a long time. Are your skills still sharp? Of course. You went back to Brigitte, right? Yes, home was very good. I went to the ocean and forest like when I was a child. I also said hello to the spirits. Hmm. Spirits, huh? Can't say I really understand, but they sound important to Bridget. Uh. They are, but spirits are everywhere. You can be praying for your protection, too. So, yeah. Good on you for sticking with the Kingdom Army this long. Must have been tough, huh? Your hard day's over now. I've called in a favor from Claude, you see. I guess you asked for meat, right? Uh. You know it! I asked him to get us some delicious, juicy meat so we can really give our all. I mean, I asked for some other stuff, too. Between you and me, the Kingdom's Army's food tastes like tree bark. We'll be swimming in tasty fruits from all over the Alliance in no time, so make sure you get good and hungry. Untrack mine, but... Fun guy. 
Okay, so... Who was here before? It was Rodrigo, wasn't it? Well, good news is, it doesn't matter. Hmm. Oh, you know what I could do? Oop. You want to be a swordmaster? Fine, be a swordmaster. I don't really care. Purely for um, support reasons, I think you actually do earn some support when you pair up. So. Good. Everybody's. Uh, yes. Let's do it. Yeah, I saw that coming. So, I got a feeling I'm out of luck here. Yep, fine. Swordmaster. Get you a final tier, finally. The good news, you can become a thief just as easy as a merc. And, probably not going to last too long, but... Assassin doesn't do me much good. Sure, we'll get Soldier out of the way. Hmm. She know you won't. Training can be the difference between victory and defeat. Become the armor knight you always wanted to be, clearly. Looks pretty good. Like the uh like the outfit. Yeah, probably be friends. Well, how do I look? Well, let's do a few of these quick. Different road, same destination. Nice. And one more for skills here. We'll do the brawler as well. That should give us a little bit of Leo, huh? How do I look? Um. <laughs> for later. Whatever the goddess ordains. Rodri. Anyone else I was thinking need to be changed? Let's see. Oh, right. Oh, right there, perfect. Guess I'll have to learn something. Well, this is a new look for me. Be able to get away with three things for her. That is not top and stuff. It doesn't look terrible as a uh, knight, amusingly enough. Become the fortress knight you always wish to be. Everyone else is good. Go ahead and get that out of the way. Nice. Bastard paladin. We love to see it. I like that line. Yes, this makes sense. I'll be able to help even more now. I didn't know I could do that. Apex lands? That sounds cool. I work to grow. I have yet more power to unleash. I've grasped new strength. Nice. 
All right, so he's maxed out those. Now he has access to that. Um, hmm. Full knight, so always an option. Drip, monk. We'll work on magic stuffs. Because now he's got two of these. He can easily work through Dancer if he wants. He's got plenty of things he can work on. It'll take forever to max out the sword classes anyways. Oh dear, you are uh we're not where I wanted to be. Okay, um Time to work you oh, so oh, you might actually need something too. Yeah. Ash too, huh? Okay. Three or so for here, they'll take care of that. Myself to this new path. 68 seals is not like I'm hurting. I'll be a okay. My duty remains unchanged. Ash needs some things. Magic classes as well. I guess I have enough master seals, and he's always with me, so why not? Does this make me stronger? Probably not. Eh, that's good enough for now. No, it's not. Get the third one. Make me strong? Probably not. Alrighty. Um, trying to think if there's anyone else I need to work on here. Yes, actually, duh. Grab these. <laughs> Evil, except for his hat. I kind of miss my old armor. <clears throat> Clearly. All right, and now the moment we've all been waiting for, what does the capstone class for him look like? Oh, that looks good. I kind of miss my old armor. I'd love to see it. All right, anyone else I've, I've missed here? I think I'm pretty solid. Let's drop you over to Bishop. You over to Warrior. Good to me. Yes, mastered. I didn't know I could do that. This should come in handy. Yeah, just as planned. Oh well, no, the planning was for these two, but I'll take it. Uh, max out bow knight. That doesn't give me good feelings about what you were supposed to be doing. Uh, bring it, sure. Everyone looks good, everyone looks good. Can't wait to see how you do. Now we have Ingrid and Sylvain. Sylvain, so that should be interesting. Got a second? You went back to Galatea for a bit, didn't you? How was it? Your family holding up okay? Not much has changed, thankfully. Also, my father said to make sure I sent you his regards. That you'd know what that means. Whoa, wait, did I do something wrong? I haven't done anything, right? <laughs> At least not lately. <laughs> it's my father's idea of a joke. I'm certain he knows how hard you've been working. And how has your family been since, um, your brother? So the story my father's is... been the same as ever, but I think my mom's taking it pretty hard. Miklan wasn't her biological son, but she cared about him all the same. Aside from that, there's been nothing out of the ordinary in Gautier territory. The string armies came knocking a few times, but we send them packing. Hmm. I see. Well, I suppose no news is good news, then. Yeah, generally. I came in under our leader's orders. Imagine my surprise if I found the king's food is practically inedible. Maybe it's because the land is not as fertile or something, but the grub's tasteless. And don't get me even don't even get me started on the booze. I'm the best chef the alliance has to offer. It's high time to teach these kingdom folks what real food is. Uh, between you and our buddy, I'm sure you'll get us plenty of good food. But in the meantime. Yeah, wait a minute. I passed by it. I just went right past it, didn't I? 
There we go. Don't know how I went right by it, but... Hmm. Catherine? Ooh, there we go. Sure. My flame? Perfect. Hey, this is great. My flame? You'll see. Wow, you really know your stuff. This is my favorite. Oh, but this is simply scrumptious. I love, love, love it. That line just abuses me, so. Come back whenever you're cool. hungry. All right, uh, go ahead and just do our chores right now, I guess. So, evaluating where the MC stands. We're not doing anything with this, but don't worry. But, uh, Fux is close. Sylvain also needs to be done in that Mercedes. And unfortunately, freaking Catherine. Well, she's already a C rank, so that's good. But, um, sure. Catherine's going to be our focus here. Wherever Catherine may be. Oh, hey, Silas and Catherine seem like a perfect combo. The perfect duo. What if I have special text? Counting on you both. Nope. Very well. I shall lend you my script. All right. Let's do this. Great. We all must do our fair share to make yourself useful. Yeah, this one's up. Well, Sylvain and then that, I guess we could do. Yeah. Perfect. Ironically, rolls for Sylvain, yes. Mercedes, you're fine. Um, no, you're fine. Rick is the king in all this. Hmm. Oh, there he is. Yeah, I'll probably just do the obvious maximum. Skip, skip, perfect. The vicar, we move on. What do you expect? There was and yet. We all must do our fair share. Okay. I'm not sure if there's anyone else in this category that needs. Now we're good. Well, we're good. We'll have to come back to this a couple more times probably because I'll be focusing on Catherine. But, you know. If you'd asked me a few months ago, I never would have guessed Fulden would be in such turmoil. I thought the Emperor's approach was a bit rash, but it didn't seem wholly unreasonable either. At least not until the Battle of Iron Road. Duke Geiger was reinstated as Prime Minister right after that. In fact, it's almost as though he was just waiting for the Emperor's defeat, don't you think? Yeah, something like that. <laughs> Our camp certainly is lively now that the Alliance has joined us. It feels as though I'm gazing upon a scene from the Academy. Ah, this takes me back. I hope this will be an opportunity for me to cultivate new friendships. Alrighty, almost there. The Archbishop has long hoped to recapture Garrig Mach Monastery. Now that wish might finally come to fruition. And we have Claude to thank for it. Though I would have preferred him to be a devout follower of the church. You Just because he's devout doesn't mean he's not a follower. Hmm. I doubt he is even that. I never see him earnestly pray during your time at the Oscars Academy. It's undeniable that the people in the Alliance territory are less religious than those in the kingdom. The Eastern Church presides over Leicester, yet they do not appear particularly enthusiastic in spreading the faith. <sighs> on the other hand, the Western Church's fanatical leaning leanings are not a cause for concern. Yeah, you guys are interesting. Much has changed in progress over the past few months. For instance, House Mateus and Gideon have new leaders, and Lord Rodrigue is currently stationed in the West to ensure conflicts are kept to a minimum. Though, I expect all is relatively calm there now, so we should undoubtedly return to us next, but... Oh, oh. Are we friends? Wish I had some coffee here, but alas, I've run out. Well, After the Battle of Iron Road, his majesty remains stoic, and so he returned to Ferdiad. However, after issuing orders for next steps, he promptly collapsed and did not wake for three days. When he finally awoke, he immediately returned to working on political affairs. That tendency of his never ceases to worry me. Sounds about right. I have one more person to talk to for you. Sorry, sorry, Dimitri. Oh, not sorry, but... 
There are a ton of people here now, what with the folks from Lester adding to the kingdom and churches in that numbers. It's just recently we began to see eye to eye with the people from Vargas. I hope we can get along with those from the church in Lester too. Cool. Moody said, follow me, we'll begin the meeting at once. That's right, it's the time to boost your leveling skill. Hmm. I'd hear from everyone, please, share any suggestions you have. I have an idea. I've had a hmm. thought. Wielding lances, well we don't have anyone that wields lances besides the MC, so meh. I was thinking. Meh. I have an idea. Sure, that'll help speed along things. Let's settle then. Ready yourselves for battle. Nice. Impressive. Excellent work, Buya. We now have a solid plan thanks to you. Our battles will only grow more intense from here on out. There is no telling when we may lose one of our dear allies. You may want to spend time with them while you can. That way you will harbor no regrets should tragedy strike. Hey. Think about my friends reminds me of my old mercenary band. Actually, I made a little something when I first became a full-fledged mercenary. May not be a bad idea to give that to someone. They might be saying I'll always be there for him. The Merc Whistle. <sighs> Mercy, please take care. Your wounds are barely healed, and yet you're working incessantly. No. When should I work if not now? There's no need for concern. I can wield my spear as I always have. Let's... Oh, Dimitri's fine. He's fit as a fiddle if his training's anything to go by. Be that as it may, His Majesty was up all night with the Alliance forces. I rest when needed, and I'll be sure to inform you immediately if I'm unwell. I do not wish to slow everyone down. And, if I'm honest, my thoughts send us straight to the situation with the Empire regardless. I cannot fully relax. If we have been able to defeat Edelgard, or better yet, Tales, no. let's pass this pass, Your Majesty. Right now, we must focus on the battle before us. Yes, you're right, my friend. Okay. And finally, 27 minutes in, we finished all the stuff. Guess what's next? Support car? No, no, not now. Next time. Or later on, we'll see. Let's get a battle or two in, shall we? On its way over there. Love and hate in wartime on selling truce. Hmm. Oh, actually, tempting, very tempting, actually. And we have a parallel match should be perfect. Give the uh, basically a little bit of direction. Okay, we'll do that then. Back to Moral Savant. Yes, I need to make a couple things. Yes, I'm gonna get hurt. Care. Because I won't get hurt. It just ain't gonna happen. Cool. Alright, um. Yeah, it's the only one that's gonna matter here. What do we wanna do here? Here of them seems like they have a time limit on it, so we'll do. Well, Catherine, I guess? Why not? Catherine tells Ash what happened with his older brother, Kristoff, from her perspective. Before he can digest what she shared, however, familiar faces have appeared before him. Yeah, sure, why not? This will be perfect. So, is it true, Catherine? About you and my brother? Yes, it's true. But are you sure you want to talk about this before uh. your scouting mission? I wouldn't have asked if I wasn't. In that case, yes. I chose to hold to what I believed in, which meant he had to die. If you can't forgive me for it, then I stand ready for your challenge. I have no right to judge you. I also betrayed people I cared about for my beliefs. And in some cases, even led them to their deaths. Fair enough. Now get going, and make sure you keep your emotions in check while on duty. Yes, ma'am. There he goes. <sighs> hey there, Slowpoke. I think this is everyone who's available at the moment. Oh, and I've got some bad news. Looks like Imperial troops have surrounded Ash's scouting unit. Sounds like they got wise to our plan. Yep. Either Ash slipped up, or 
we've got a spy on you. It's still, they sent a pretty impressive force if they're just looking to take out one little scout party. Hmm. That's why we think their true aim lies elsewhere. Or oh, it could be here. Maybe they see this as their chance to draw out the infamous Thunder Catherine. I don't think so. They've got no reason to think I'd come running to Ash's rescue. I think you've got it backwards. Most likely, they're just coming after Ash. Apparently, some of the enemy's soldiers were flying the flag of House Gaspar. Uh. I'm worried about Ash. What's left of House Gaspar probably thinks him a traitor. Yeah, he won't be winning any popularity contests with that band anytime soon. You could be the most virtuous, upstanding knight in the land. And still be the embodiment of evil to whoever is on the other side. Well, that's a fun thought. We don't know much about the enemy, but there don't seem to be any generals of note among them. So here's the plan. We're all going to rush in there, grab Ash, and hightail it back out. Good? Good. Simple. Already my knights. I approve. You two make sure you're prepared too. If we aren't quick about this, we're all going to end up very dead. It must be hard for Ash to fight against what remains of his old house. If he's not ready to have people hate him, he should get out of the killing business. When you're alive and looking to stay that way, your interests inevitably brought up against someone else's. And look, Ash is clearly in a tough spot, but he's no fool. And he's come too far to mm -hmm. lay down his life now. I mean, he killed his own father figure in the name of justice. It'll take more than this to shake him. You've got a lot of confidence in him. Hey. The guy came from nothing, just like me. I can't help but root for him. Hmm. Is that all? Maybe. Alright, so speed will be the key here. <laughs> Everyone's using a sword. Except for Ash. He's using an iron bow. Level 19 versus 138. Good news is that shouldn't matter. They don't go by that. But that would suck. Like, oh, by the way, since your Ash isn't leveled, he did. Okay, let's begin. We need a secure and escape route. But I think we should deal with Ash first. Probably should. Right. Who knows how much longer he can hold out. We need to break through the troops surrounding him as soon as possible. Broken ability. Yeah, that works. Yes, Ash, we know. MC speed boost, go! Yep, this works. Good little ability spam for the win. Hurry up and get over here. That's a lot of enemies. Fair kill them. Level up. Nice. I'm getting stronger. Love to see those plus twos. Bye friend. Bye friend. Oh, you ain't gonna die from that. This however. From behind. I recognize that. I'll come back for that in a sec. A lot of enemies here. No, I think not. Got him. Quick zoom over here. Not a lot of guys here. That's fine. Hey, where's all the enemies here? Ash, I'm coming to rescue you, so don't you dare die before I get there. 
I think I'll grab that. Was that Catherine? No, I do. Probably don't die. Alright, Catherine. Eh, we'll kill the rest of them in a minute. Can I just say I'm probably going to lose my buffs now? Shoot. Uh, I don't know if I can kill him in time. No. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Theoretically, maybe I can just get over here. We missed. I have to survive this. I'm so scared <sighs> to die. Come on, Ash. Another one to keep my eye on. <clears throat> yes, yes. Where's the checkpoint? To retain any levels, your XP you gained. Good, because I didn't want to. Didn't want to lose that. Where does that put us? Is that the beginning of the fight? Hopefully not. But oh man. God. Well, keep moving. Alright, so this time around I'll focus the guys like I should. Oh, those enemies I'm passing by. Do you? Do you really have me? Oh, that is a good level. I'm getting stronger. That is a fantastic level. If he never adopted this filthy wretch of a child, we'll come back for your enemies. Still draw breath. I recognize all of these faces. All the other spies betraying Lenata. Okay, so let's go ahead and finish saving him. Where the frick is? Oh. Good. Now he's playable, he can use anything to heal. For now, would you please just kind of sit right here and don't go over there to the death trap? Lenato would still be alive if I had just remained loyal and fought beside him. Oh, come on, Ash. Don't let the stronghold fall. To your posts, everyone. You are just going to die if you stay there, so why don't you go up here and do something, I don't know. Can't block it all, friend. I 
Oh, there are a lot of enemies back over here. How am I doing in time versus kill? I'm doing great. Fortunately, the only kills we got are these. Okay, got a little bit of extra kills from there. Still a big pile of enemies here? No, not really. And done. I'll be coming back here. Oh, excuse me. Oh look, it's a trap. I'm so surprised. <laughs> Come on, let's kill these guys and get out of here. He has a good point. There's a trap. And good night to you. That's a nice chunk of enemies to add to the total. And what? Ash was supposed to show his gratitude by dying alongside the guy? Come on. Alright, Ash, move down over here. Now he should be safe. I'll do my best. I'll Ash, you did what you did because you thought it was right. So don't give in now. Yeah. Now we have to go around the outside of the map. And that's a good chunk of enemies to add to my total. Are you so tanky? That works. Okay, I should go ahead and put him down. And I proclaim you dead. A pleasure. Cool. Go back over here, kill the two guys that are converging on Ash. Uh, you can come over here too. Thank you for walking up to me, I appreciate that. Quite neighborly of you. Still slow, but he did. You know, Ash, you can start walking over to here. You can drop, cool. The MC's speed boost, we are no worries. He dead. I think we're actually pretty good to skip the bounds of enemies now because we got. We gotta work our way across the entire map, but we got... Oh, hey. You missed one.
Oh, thanks you say, Yuri. Ash, go ahead and move up. I'll do my best. Yeah, she not. Stick with me. I got you. Hmm. Oh, conveniently enough, got a purple thing. Take that. You know, I'll take that too. That'll get me through the rest of the battle, no problem. Good. Ash, come here. Oh no, anyway. Oh dear. It appears my friends from Gaspar weren't up to the task. He must be the one who incited this whole rebellion. No pay without his life. Oh no, anyway. I am but a humble merchant. Pray do not concern yourselves with me. Yes, humble merchant. I cut you down. What was that? Capture me? Not likely. Why does nothing ever go as planned? Bleh. That? Come on, Ash. Let's go. Thank you, everyone. You goofa. Don't get yourself caught next time. Good level for Ash. Good stuff. One step closer to my goals. Mm -hmm. I won't let myself stop here. Not quite double level up. Alas. The more power, the better. That well, wasn't the cleanest sight since we lost, but you know, that's how those sorts of things go. Safe. Though I have to say, we cut that way closer than I'm comfortable with. Mm -hmm. You're telling me. I could have done without that wretched merchant riling up what was left of Gaspar. I'm gonna need hazard pay for that one. Remind me to send Dimitri an invoice later. Don't <laughs> trouble his majesty with such things. Easy there, friend. I'm just blowing off some steam. Don't go getting your honor in a twist. Well, I am a knight after all. <laughs> so, after fighting those people from House Gaspar, I wonder if I'm even worthy of the station. Oh, how many people from House Gaspar are there? We killed like... Probably about six thousand by now. <laughs> Our entire job is killing people. Makes what we do from sun up to sundown. You really think that line of work won't make you an enemy or three? Yes, you're right. And if I needed it, this was certainly a stark reminder. Renato once told me to hold true to my beliefs, so I'll keep trusting my own sense of justice and walk the path I've chosen. There's no turning back now. Now there's the ash I know and love. No, oh. thank you, friend. And thanks to you as well, Catherine. I could never abandon an ally in need. Besides, I owe it to Kristoff to keep you alive. So I probably should have asked before. But what kind of connection did you have with Lenato? I'm responsible for the death of his son, Kristoff, Ash's adoptive older brother. Mm -hmm. In response, Lenato pinned a baseless crime on me making it impossible for me to ever return home. In a way, I suppose I should thank him. If not for that, I never would have taken up with Lady Rhea. You really like Rhea, don't you? I actually respect that. And I don't respect much of anything. I'd prefer if you respected Lady Rhea rather than me. <clears throat> she truly is wonderful. This all sounds very complicated. Oh, it is. But you can't escape your past. 
Do that. You, Ash, Yuri, we all have our baggage. Well, what say we head back? I'm sure everyone is waiting for us. Good idea. The kingdom will need to decide how to deal with House Gaspar. I hope they can find some measure of peace. Regardless, I intend to help them, however... Must you? Whenever you do your best, it tends to make additional work for the rest of us. Seriously, Yuri. Can't you just agree with me for once? Hmm. <laughs> What's wrong, Captain? No, oh, nothing. Just thinking about the past is all. Cool. Victory has been achieved. Yeah, I don't like those where you have to register or register, rescue someone that's you know, stuck in the middle of the map, and it's like you gotta get to them in a certain amount of time. And oh, by the way, you have to kill all the enemies here. Oh, but then there's these catapults that are raining down on them. But don't focus the catapults because you'll still lose if you do that. You people want Everything from me. Apparently, kill the catapults after, even though the catapults should theoretically be the most concerning thing because the catapults are raining death upon them, but you know, whatever. Either way, that was a very successful session. It was, uh, you know, you know a tale of two, two episodes in one. We got the kind of boring, but very interesting in some ways, you know, but the actively boring, you know, active talking to other people and, you know, doing our uh, boosting and whatnot. Then we had the Airlock you know, chapter in which there was failure, then there was triumph and, you know, oh, actually before I forget, I almost did forget. Next time around I might not remember I told me in the middle of a battle, I'd be like, uh, why am I doing damage? This back here. And Fuya goes back to their winning ways as a check notes. Falcon Knight. Perfect. There, y'all thought I was gonna forget. Almost did forget. <clears throat> cool. Alright, friends. Well, that is the end for today. Hope you had a good time. I certainly did. Until next time, you all take care. I look forward to seeing you once again on the next adventure. <laughs>